Okay, so now we're going to look at um, lowest common multiple, just kind of review this concept um, so that um, we can continue on the idea of factoring. So the LCM is the smallest multiple of two expressions. It stands for lowest common multiple. So a lot of the time they say lowest common multiple in the problems, but they'll also say LCM, um, kind of interchangeable there. Uh, so we start by finding the lowest common um, multiple of the coefficients, 20 and 12. Um, so if we look at the multiples of 20 and 12, we want to know what's you know, the lowest common that they can go and do. So I can do 20, 40, 60, and then for 12, 12, 24, 36, 48, 60. So you can see I, I stopped on 60 intentionally. So you may you know, keep going. You can go you know, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. You know, all the, all the way there to 100, and then, you know, do your 12s until you get to a number that's matching. So 60 is matching, or it's the lowest common multiple. So then look at the variables that appear in at least one of the given expressions. So the variables are x, y, and v, and the highest powers of these variables are x to the fourth, y to the fifth, and three v to the third. So this is not like greatest... Um, for simplifying greatest common factor, when we were simplifying fractions, lowest common multiple means that I want the biggest power, not the smallest. So this I'm actually transforming it into a bigger power. So um, I the biggest x I have is x to the fourth, the biggest y I have is, is y to the fifth, and the biggest v I have is v to the third. So my lowest common multiple of these two is going to be 60, that's the coefficients, and then my variables, the highest of each variable that I have. Um, all right, so let's try this one more time. And we're going to simplify here. So we have um, 16v cubed and 20v squared. And they have a common factor. So we're going back to factoring here. Um, so we're going to factor 4 and v squared. v squared, so this is when I'm factoring. Common factor is the smaller one. Lowest common multiple is the larger one, so make sure you keep those two separate. So I can only take v squared from either one of these because that's the most I have to offer. And then both can divide by 4. So 16 divided by 4, I get 4. v squared, uh, or v cubed divided by v squared. Remember, exponent rules means that I'm going to go 3 minus 2 and I get 1. So I'm left with 1v. 20 divided by 4 is that 5, you see. And v squared divided by v squared cancels out. So... Now I can look at my binomials. I have v plus 7 cubed and v plus 7 times 3v minus 2. So I have 3v plus 7s up here and I have 1 down here. So I can cancel 1 on top with the 1 on the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel that common factor out. It doesn't cancel all of them, just one of them. So I'm left with two of them. So I have v plus 7 squared, um, 5 over... Um, or sorry, over 5 times 3 um, times v minus 2. Um, so we didn't actually have to use um, greatest common multiple on that one. Um, we were just using com, um, greatest common factor on this one because um, we were going back to factoring. All right, so um, again, this is all just practice for when we do um, end up using this to graph some of these equations. Uh, so I hope that helped, and I will see you in the next video.